Irradiation channel can be a confusing topic for new players as I have been getting a lot of questions and DMs around it. So this video is about how the irradiation channel works, what is neutron flux, how neutrons travel and also a simple breeding RBMK reactor design which should solve the confusion around it. Let's start with the maximum distance traveled by a neutron in this mod which is 5 blocks. So on one side I am going to place a self igniting rod and on the other side I am going to place a normal fuel rod. Now as we have a total of 5 blocks in the middle, the fuel rod is on the 6th block. And that's why neutrons stop when they reach this cooler right here. So they can reach the uranium fuel rod that we have placed on the other side and that is why this uranium rod right here is not reacting. Now this is not the case when we come to the other reactor that I have made as there are only 4 blocks in the middle. So neutrons will actually reach the uranium rod placed on the other side and that is why it will start reacting. So basically this straight line where the neutrons are traveling, this is where we want our irradiation channel to be. Now let's talk about a difference between the normal RBMK fuel rods and the moderated ones. So a normal RBMK fuel rod basically when it emits neutron on all of the four sides in straight line, it will not slow it down or any neutrons coming in the fuel rod will also not be slowed down. That is why you need to use moderators with normal fuel rods. But when it comes to moderated fuel rods, uh, neutrons which come inside it are slowed down but neutrons which are going out from it are not slowing down. So I don't know why that is but it is like that. That is why when you are building a breeding RBMK reactor, it is advisable to always and always use moderators in front of the irradiation channel. Because breeding works best when the neutrons are slowed down and moderators slow neutrons down. So right now as you can see, we have fast flux and slow flux and fast flux is much more than the slow flux. But if I place moderators in front of every reflector, then you will see now we only have slow flux and no flash flux. That is what we need when we place down our irradiation channel. But it will not work when you place it diagonally or anywhere else. It should be in the path of neutrons. And as it is in the path of neutrons, as you can see, the irradiation channel was working. So right here, I want to show you the speed difference between fast flux and slow flux. Now, this is a moderated RBMK fuel rod. I have closed it on three sides and then there is an irradiation channel. And then also it is closed on the final side. So I have not placed any moderators here. So the irradiation channel will only receive fast flux coming from the fuel rod. And I'm going to place a highly enriched uranium rod in it. So now the irradiation channel is receiving fast flux. Our reactor is basically producing power. But placing down lithium in here, you can see how slow this process is. Like <laughs> it is very slow. The speed is abysmal here and it is going to take a long long time before we get any tritium from it. So that is what happens when you use fast flux to breed anything. Now let's talk about slow flux. So I am going to use a normal fuel rod here with moderators on all of the side and uh, then I am going to use reflectors and finally we will close it up and have a highly enriched uranium-235, the same fuel that we used in there. Now this reactor will produce a little bit less power but just look at the speed difference. The breeding process happens way faster than it was happening in the other reactor that we made which only had fast flux coming into the radiation channel. So that is why you always need to use moderators with yeah, breeding reactors and irradiation channels in general. This is only what at 59 right now and we already have reached 60 in this one. So yeah, pretty fast. But when it comes to power production, of course, moderated fuel rods will do the trick. Anyways, now let's build a simple breeding RBMK reactor. In the middle is an irradiation channel along with four moderators on all of the sides. In front of the moderators are four fuel rods and covering the fuel rods on the remaining three sides are more moderators. Now to cool these fuel rods down, place down four steam channels for each of the fuel rods right here and uh, 4 will be common there will be 3 so a total of what 12 steam channels and this one right here 
I have placed it by mistake. I am going to correct it as soon as I start placing reflectors here. So close down all of the neutron parts so there is no radiation leakage. Replace that mistake that we made earlier and now our reactor is complete. So in order to basically prevent neutrons from escaping, place down RBMK covers on all of the channels. Connect the steam channels using water pipes and uh, yeah also place down the steam connectors right here on the bottom and below this will be the ultra dense steam pipes so this design is like very simple even simpler was the one that i previously made with only one fuel rod but this one is much much faster than that as it has four fuel rods concentrating their slow flux on a single irradiation channel in the middle so now these steps are common for any reactor that you are going to make in this mod just four turbines if you are using ultra dense steam three if you are using super dense steam and uh, connect the turbines so that we have a closed loop and low pressure steam will go in a large cooling tower and connect it like this there we go and water from the large cooling tower will go back into the reactor completing the loop that we made with the turbines so there goes and our entire design is complete now all we need is to fill the reactor up with water so all of the steam channels should be full of water and change the steam type of every steam channel to ultra dense steam this process is way easier with the new rbmk consoles in the mod now finally place down highly enriched uranium 235 rods in all four of the spots and activate them or activate any two of them with a neutron source and our reactor will start running so right now there is nothing in the irradiation channel so this reactor will produce maximum power oh i okay i missed a spot here that's why there was radiation leakage anyways uh, right now as i told you there is no there is nothing basically in the radiation channel so the reactor is producing maximum power we have 15 mega g per second and as soon as i place something you can see that it breeds pretty fast like less than two seconds for a single operation so this of course will reduce the amount of flux overall flux first it was 1400 now it went down to 900 and it will also reduce the amount of power that we are producing but yeah the breeding speed is pretty fast it is approximately 1.5 or 1.6 seconds for each operation and the power levels as you can see are down to 11 mega g per second now if you are using a dangerous fuel like this fuel is the highly enriched uranium 235 is not dangerous but if you are using a dangerous fuel then i will highly recommend using control rods and uh, yeah not control rods the moderated control rods or even normal control rods if you want your reactor to be bigger than what it is right now and yeah that will ensure that it doesn't explode and also please make it first in creative test it out and then use it in your survival world so control rods are important when you're using a fuel type which is dangerous the linear fuel types and here you can see water levels are holding good so this reactor will not explode even when you have nothing in the irradiation channel so yeah that was the irradiation channel basics if you still have any questions please do let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to answer them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this i will see you guys in the next one until then peace out and stay safe